my name is Althea Sachs, and I live with my grandson, Eton, and my daughter, Molly. My grandson, Eton, he, when he wakes up in the morning, he kind of hangs out on the couch for a while, and my daughter's getting ready because maybe she's going to work that day. And so I try to come in and talk to him and help with breakfast or whatever he might need at that time. My daughter was going through a divorce. So I had been looking for another place to live. And then I said, why don't I just look for a place to live where there's a good school system? And for now, you'll live with me until you're ready to move out on your own and you've saved a little bit of money. I lived in two separate spaces before moving in with my mom. And the first space was a little easier than the second space. It was a one story, one bedroom apartment. And I had this 90 year old woman that lived next to me and I could rent my car and she could watch Etan through her screen door and I'd run back. The things you think of as a single parent is like the distance from your front door to your car. I remember struggling maybe a year into being a single mommy and I had the support of my family and some people don't have that. I remember just being at lunch with my sister one day and just losing it. I just have this package that I just wish for everybody, the ease that my family is with me. Hello? Hi, Mom. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Um, how was school? Good. Good. Okay, well, I'm just watching my car and I'll see you soon. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. There's sometimes I'll bring something up that maybe she didn't want me to say in front of him and she'll say, mom. <laughs> and then I get the, you know, get the message. And I'm like, mm, okay, I won't bring that up. And she's the mother. I'm the grandmother. And I just have to go along with whatever she feels is right. And I can see the point when she says it to me. And I say, oh yeah, I shouldn't have whatever. But this is rare, but it does happen once in a while. I think there's a real balance between the two of us. I think both of us feel that way. My mom backs off when I'm parenting and there's a real respect. It would be nice if there were some kind of meetup even for grandparents and their children at a park, just like you would with parents. Because I just moved to this area in September. I don't really know anyone in this area as a friend, and that might be a nice way for people to meet and get to exchange ideas and things to do with kids. I'm grateful to have gotten this opportunity to have them both with me right now. I'm grateful she was willing to come here and give this a try. 